Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. Have you heard of a performer by the name of Ren? No. This is a special one for me, because not only did I work for Stone Temple Pilots, I'm a big fan of the band. When I began to work for STP, it was my first gig. Steve was the manager, and so uh, I always remember him fondly. He was cool, man. He was always nice to me. And I was the bottom guy on the totem pole, and he was, of course, the top dude. And so it's good to reconnect with people. Anyway, I did reconnect with him recently. I asked him if he wanted to come on the podcast. He was all into it. And I hope you guys like his reactions. He's a really cool cat. He's a good dude for real. Some of these went a little longer. I like people to get to know the guests a little bit. I think it makes it more fun. I went a little bit a little bit deeper than usual maybe because uh, some of the stuff intrigued me. I wanted to know about STP's uh origins and whatnot and so uh, if you're STP fans it's great if not I put chapters there and you guys can skip through the stuff if you're just not interested and you just want to see the straight reaction you can still do so either way I hope you enjoy it I also want to throw a shout out a thank you to the people here at not just Tokyo Treat but their sister company Sakura you can uh, find Tokyo Treat products at tokyotreat.com or Sakura products at sakura.com CO. They always think of me and they send me all these wonderful treats and why I like it is it's just different stuff for my palate. It's different things for me to try and they include tea by the way. I'm a big tea drinker. I love tea and so it means a lot to me that they would not send me one box but two <laughs> to try all this wonderful stuff. So thank you very very much for thinking of me. Guys let's jump into this. Let's see what Steve Stewart, it's so cool for me to have this guy on, thinks about your favorite band. Let's do this. So this is Ren. I really feel genuinely that Ren is a, is a tour de force. I watched this video and I was mesmerized. It was sent to me by a friend of mine and I've become a very big Ren fan. I'm not the only one. Ren had the number one album in the UK uh, recently and he's just been kicking ass and taking names. And so I, I hope you like this as much as I do. He does uh, come from, uh, he, he's Welsh. He's so from Wales. So originally like anyway, James Bond so, yeah like James Bond Bond James Bond or Sean Connery yeah <laughs> Ren, Mr. Ren <laughs> so let's give it a go Stephen you can see what you think of this guy let's check it out I know you need me, you're the sheep, I'm the shepherd, not your place to lead me, not your place to be biting off the hand that feeds me. Hi Bren, I've been taking some time to be distant, I've been taking some time to be still, I've been taking some time to be by myself since my therapist told me I'm ill, and I've been making some progress lately, and I've learned some new coping skills, 
So I haven't really needed you much, man I think we need to just step back and chill Ren, you sound more insane than I do You think that those doctors are really there to guide you? Been through this a million times Your civilian mind is so perfect to always be lied to Okay, take another pill, boy Drown yourself in the sound of white noise Follow this ten-step program Rejoice, all your problems will be gone Fucking dumb, boy Nah, mate this time is different man, trust me I feel like things might be falling in place And my music's been kinda doing bits too Like I actually might do something great And when I'm gone, maybe I'll be remembered For doing something special with myself That's why I don't think that we should talk man Cause when you're with me, it never seems to help You think that you can amputate me? I am you, you are me, you are I, I am we We are one, split in two, that makes one, so you see You gotta kill you if you wanna kill me I'm not left over dinner, I'm not scraps on the side Oh, your music is thriving, delusional guy Where's your top ten hit? Where's your interview with Oprah? Where are your Grammys, Ren? Nowhere Yeah, but my music's not commercial like that I never chase numbers, statistics or stats I never write hooks for the radio They never even play me, so why would I concern myself with that? But my music is really connected and the people who find it respect it And for me that's enough cause this life's been tough So it gives me a purpose I can rest in Man, you sound so pretentious Ran your music is so self-centered No one wants to hear another song about how much you hate yourself Trust me you should be so lucky Having me inside you to guide you, remind you To manage expectations, provide you perspective That thing you neglected, I get it You wanna be a big deal, next Jimi Hendrix, forget it Man, it's not like that Man, it's just like that, I'm inside you, you twat No, it's not, man, you're wrong, when I write, I belong Let me break the fourth wall by acknowledging this song Ren sits down, has a stroke of genius He wants to write a song that was not done previous A battle with his subconscious, Eminem did it Played on guitar, Plan B did it Man, you're not original, you criminal rip off artist The pinnacle of your success is stealing other people material. Ren mate, we've heard it all before. Oh, she sells seashells on the seashore. Fuck you. I don't need you. I don't need to hear this. Cause I'm fine by myself. I'm a genius. And I will be great. And I will make waves. And I'll shake up the whole world beneath us. That's right. Speak your truth. Your fucking god complex leaks out of you. It's refreshing to ask for you. Say it instead of downplay it. Uh, music is all about the creative process And if people can find something to relate to within that Then that's just a bonus Fuck you, I'ma fucking kill you, Ren Well, fucking kill me then, let's fucking have you, Ren I'ma do it, watch me prove it Who are you to doubt my music? Cause I call the shots, I choose if you die Yeah, I call the shots and so I choose who survives I'll tie you up in knots when I lock you inside <sighs> Newsflash I was created at the dawn of creation I am temptation I am the snake in Eden. I am the reason for treason. Beheading all kings. I am sin with no rhyme or reason. Son of the morning, Lucifer, Antichrist, father of lies. Mistopheles, truth in the blender, deceitful pretender, the banished avenger, the righteous surrender. When standing in front of my solar eclipse, my name is stitched to your lips. So you see, I won't bow to the will of a mortal, feeble and normal. You wanna kill me? I'm eternal and mortal. I live in every decision that catalyzes chaos that causes division. I live inside death, the beginning of end. I am you, you are me, I am you, friend Hi, Ren I've been taking some time to be distant I've been taking some time to be still I've been taking some time to be by myself And I've spent half my life ill But just as sure as the tide starts turning Just as sure as the night has dawn Just as sure as the rain falls soon one is dry when you stand in an eye of a storm I was made to be tested and twisted I was made to be broken and beat I was made by his hand It's all part of his plan that I stand on my own two feet And you know me, my will is eternal And you know me, you've met me before Face to face with a beast I will rise from the east And I'll settle on the ocean floor And I go by many names also Some people know me as hope Some people know me as the voice That you hear when you loosen the noose on the rope And you know how I know that I'll prosper? Cause I stand here beside you today I have stood in the flames that cremated my brain And I didn't once flinch or shake So cower at the man I've become When I sing from the top of my lungs that I won't retire, I'll stand in your fire Inspire that me to be strong And when I am gone I will rise In the music that I left behind Ferocious, persistent, immortal like you We're a to different
When I was 17 years old, I shouted out into an empty room, into a blank canvas that I would defeat the forces of evil. And for the next 10 years of my life, I suffered the consequences with autoimmunity, illness, and psychosis. As I got older, I realized there were no real winners and there were no real losers in psychological warfare, but there were victims and there were students. It wasn't David versus Goliath. It was a pendulum, eternally swaying from the dark to the light. And the more intensely that the light shone, the darker the shadow it cast. It was never really a battle for me to win. It was an eternal dance. And like a dance, the more rigid I became, the harder it got. The more I cursed my clumsy footsteps, the more I struggled. So I got older and I learned to relax. And I learned to soften, it's got easier. It is this eternal dance that separates human beings from angels, from demons, from gods. And I must not forget, we must not forget, that we are human beings. What'd you think? Wow, it's heavy. Um... I, I'm blown away. It's it's not just music. I mean, he's telling a story, and I'm assuming it's his his story. Um, but it's poetic, it's visceral, it's it, it it's entertaining, and then he gets real with it. And it's uh, I'm I'm glad to see an artist that, that can express like that because I think a lot of people are. You know, you're constrained by the three and a half minute song and you think it's got to have this line rhymes with that line. And he's pushing that envelope. He's he's opening that up and, and really expressing himself in a way that uh, that is honest. It seems it seems to be very true and from the heart. And I think that's what moves people. And it, it's it's strong. Yeah, it's the sincerity that really blew me away. It's like this guy's opening up his heart to you and personal stuff. And he's doing it with conviction. And it's so, it's just such an awesome thing to see. Like, no fear, you know? It's cool. But he brings in the dark and the light. And he brings in, you know, the song itself. And it for a second, I thought I was just reading YouTube comments. Because it was like what, what his alter ego was thinking about himself. Or, or right. someone writing comments about his video. And by the way, I thought the video was really well done, too. Very well choreographed. It seems simple, but it's a lot more complex than what it looks like. Yeah. Um, because it, it the lighting and, and he stands up and there's multiple cameras that don't seem to get in the way. Um, and the audio is is really, I don't know how you get that good of audio. And his guitar playing is amazing too. So I'm he's absolutely a creative force and I'm I'm blown away. So the video productions just get better, by the way. He works with his buddy doing them, and they're really amazing really really great stuff you know mm. long shots no cuts that kind of stuff just really yep. neat so i'm glad you're intrigued you know people say how come you don't spend more time but the important part of this is that i'm trying to bring on people to say do you want to watch more of this guy and i'm yeah. hoping they do so i'm glad you got a little bit of a bug for him because there's a awesome stuff he's been doing and this came out a little while ago so just a heads up some of the newer stuff's just so good so I appreciate you introducing me to him. It's he's super creative, like you said. It's it's all from here, so that's it the is. way to connect. It, it's it's, it's so, really yeah. really strong. Oh, so I loosen the noose from the rope. You know what a good line, isn't it? <laughs> it's right. it's wow. really contemplative, right? And like you said, he's dealing with himself at the yeah. most base level, and it's yeah. that's the hardest thing for most of us to do. I think is to really deal with ourselves at the very very bottom right how do you deal with that how do you look at that do you ever look at that right do you just ignore it and go about your day or do you do you do you deal with that at some point it sounds like he's like you said it's a raw wound he's dealing with it right here in public so it um, is and i hope it's a healthy medium for him and i think it is because he's doing so sure. well so i think this is wonderful on all levels i i think the guy's so good so okay yeah, why don't stuff. we hop over to japan
Have we ever heard of a band called Band Made? No. All right, let's jump into that one. We'll switch it up a little bit, but I think you'll dig these ladies. Okay. Hey, the podcast is over. What are you still doing here? Well, while you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks.